Hello YouTubers, Zero to 100 here and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to film your motorcycle adventures by yourself with nobody else around and no assistance. I'm going to be showing you the equipment I use to be able to give you great footage when you're out and about riding your motorcycles be it off-road be it in the mountains and so forth if you subscribe to my channel I will review the different equipment at a later stage in my channel so you will be able to see up close and personal the equipment that I use as reviews of each piece of the equipment and what I use them for so subscribe play ding dong ding with a bell so you get notified and please leave a like and share help a guy grow his channel so let's get started with the exciting stuff I'm going to be showing you how you can get footage like this So first off, I have a GoPro connected to my helmet. I prefer the GoPro connected right in front of the helmet. So it's a chin mount and basically this absorbs a lot of the vibrations. A lot of people put the GoPro on the handlebars, but this is not so great because you get a lot of jello. If you connect it to your helmet, not only does it absorb all of the engine vibrations but you can also look at the scenery and show the viewers around where you are etc so that is my choice and I will show you this later on how it is mounted I also have a zoom h1 external microphone and I will show you the difference using a professional studio external mic versus the mic on the GoPro it's like night and day so this here is using the GoPro microphone and as you can see I'm going to switch now to the external mic the zoom with a built-in uh, microphone but I'm not using the H1 built-in microphones I'm using a lapel mic that is sitting inside of my helmet and it's connected through a wire not Bluetooth although I have options to connect it Bluetooth to the H1 zoom And as you can see, there's a huge difference in the quality. Whoa! -ho. Whoa! Yeah! Some adrenaline flow in there, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa! -ho. Gotta be careful of the ruts because the ruts can really throw you off course. Not good. The first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take up my drone. Yeah, to 
do some follow me's. Always scout the area for obstacles. The last thing you want to do is crash your drone. Be conscious of the environment, be safe, make sure there's also not a lot of people or traffic. Safety first when it comes to things like this, of course. You can really hurt somebody if the drone crashes or goes out of control and hits somebody. All right, so I think this looks like a good location. Let me stop here. Let me show you guys the equipment that I'm going to be using for today's shoot. Let's start with the helmet setup. This is the GoPro Hero 6 that is connected to my chin with various GoPro adapters. Yeah, as you can see there. So it is quite a stable mount. I prefer it than mounting it, for example, on the handlebars, because like I said, mounting it on the handlebars picks up engine vibration, road vibration, and gives you a lot of different jello effects. Having this on the helmet, especially in front of you, gives you a little bit more control. You can actually still see if it's recording, uh, if you have the red lights blinking, which means recording. You can actually see the back LCD screen. It's quite a convenient little setup and it takes a lot of the dampening from the vibrations and it also allows you to look around and show your viewers some of the surrounding areas rather than just the road ahead. Inside the helmet, and I don't know if you can see that, yeah, there is, there is a uh, lapel mic, it's an internal mic, and this is a lot better than the audio. Uh, from the GoPro and I'll give you examples of this right um, it is terrible so the GoPro mics pick up all the wind noise all the distortion and uh, it's just not great at all so you've got to use some kind of an uh, uh, internal helmet mic or a lapel mic or a Bluetooth mic for this now I've got an option of a Bluetooth mic but the sound is not that great I highly recommend a good quality lapel mic and it is wired into the Zoom H1 and I will show you this right now. This is the external recorder that I use. It is the Zoom H1 and this is a really great external microphone. Right now I'm using just this microphone but when I am on the motorbike I connect it to my pouch there. I put it in my pouch, not connected to my pouch. I connect the lapel mic to the Zoom H1 and I stick the uh, external mic into this little pouch over here with the wired connection and it gives me really good audio and it's really got good wind noise cancelling capabilities, this lapel mic, yeah? So, um, that is the setup for audio and action footage on the bike itself right highly recommended and the camera that i'm using right now is to film this i'm using the sony rx100 mark 6 it's a point and shoot it's a really premium point and shoot capable of 4k and many other things now i will be showing you all of the equipment that i use to film my adventures right and basically later on I will be doing reviews of all of this equipment. One thing that you've got to remember that is really, really important is you've got to minimize on size, yes? Because you're on a motorbike, you don't want to pack heavy. You don't want to pack heavy. The lighter you pack, the smaller you pack, the more convenient it is. So I'm able to carry a really good camera for photos which is the Sony uh, RX100 Mark 6. I've got a drone as well and basically it's this on my bike and basically that 
over there. That is all that I carry with me when I'm touring and that allows me to do everything uh, that I'm about to show you, yeah? Okay? So it's really important to carry light. My drone is inside there as well and you will see this later. Okay, so let's move on to the uh, Sony RX uh, 100 Mark VI. Guys, I will give you reviews of this equipment later on. So don't forget to subscribe, play ding dong ding with a bell so you are notified. But I'm going to show you exactly up close and personal with all of this equipment so then you can decide for yourself if it's equipment that you would like or if this can help you filming your own adventures and this is not only for motorbikes I mean if you're into cars if you're into cycling if you're into running this is basically a good solution for uh, all different types of outings and adventures canoeing kayaking you name it yeah cycling skiing whatever any adventure all right let's move on this here and I will go into greater details on another video on specifics of this camera but this is the Sony RX100 Mark VI and this is really a little powerhouse of a camera nice and compact you don't need to carry around lenses it has got a 28 to 200 millimeter lens right it is brilliant for all your travel needs. Nice and compact, fits in your pocket, and you can basically use this to take really, really great pictures. It's got a one-inch sensor. This is a little powerhouse. It does um, slow-mo. It does great quality video. It is a good all-round travel camera with a good Zeiss lens on it. This is the Sony RX100 Mark VI rather than packing a digital SLR and a case separately just for your lenses and your digital camera when you go on tour you know that on motorbikes you need to pack light and you don't have the luxury of taking so much equipment with you so you've got to downsize and this is the perfect option this rivals some of the digital SLR cameras out there yeah with its specifications yes it is really great great autofocus great uh, zoom great picture quality thousand and one options great camera you can vlog with this camera you can do so much with this camera and I'm going to be doing and using this today for some slow-mo footage and some pictures just to give you an idea what this camera is capable of and video of course yeah so that being said, let me go to my next piece of equipment that I'm going to be using, the DJI Osmo Pocket. And this is really a great small little gimbal. Now what this is, it basically is a 4K video camera that takes photos, that takes time lapse, that does uh, slow motion, everything in this small little size and I use this basically for time-lapse yeah for panoramas for uh, big um, multi shots of uh, nine uh, three by nine three by three uh, so nine pictures um, of the surrounding area it is a great little video camera capable of shooting 4k but the best thing about this camera is that it is a mechanical gimbal, not a not using the software, so not image stabilized, yeah. And basically what this does is, and I will show you, it basically allows to give you really smooth footage, yeah, even if there is shake, right? It keeps the horizon very very stable it's got different settings yeah if I click three times for example it goes into selfie mode as you can see there right and it is very 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 useful for all sorts of footage and I'm going to give you an example of that right now it comes in this little 
case so the case protector but this is a gimbal that fits into your pocket and those of you that know gimbals they can be quite big in size yeah this is also used for uh, roadside tracking it does an excellent job of tracking you right and uh, it's really really great really recommend this as a must-have for your video requirements yeah so really stable footage coming out of this and I'm going to basically walk around now yeah and give you an example of what this little baby can do I'm walking in some rough terrain really difficult to get a stable shot but you can see how well this camera does with its mechanical stabilization right and that's what I use this primarily for for stabilized footage great camera highly recommended and again look at the si the form factor of this you can practically stick this in your pocket and this is basically all of the equipment that I carry around the last piece yeah is my drone the parrot anafi and this is also really really small it fits into a backpack and basically will allow you to get some really really great footage let me just show you the parrot anafi comes in this beautiful case there is a remote control i'm not going to be using the remote control today the sky controller 3 you don't need it basically for the uh, footage you can uh, follow me footage you can just use your mobile phone it tracks your mobile phone it tracks you but i really love the form factor of this little drone it's got a mechanical gimbal as well right so the footage is uh, also really really stable and clear you will see this it's capable of doing 4k the form factor is perfect those of you that follow my channel will know that i had the uh, parrot bpop 2 and i got that already for at the time it was the smallest drone available but this is even much smaller now it's super quiet low profile nobody will uh, bug you with this uh, this drone because it's light i think it weighs something like 400 grams great performance great all-round drone i've had no issues with this and it's a great tool that acts as your cameraman for filming your adventures wherever you go up in the air for aerial photography and this is probably the most important kit that you could have to film your adventures if you are doing things solo this is basically what does the trick for you you get this up in the air and it films you in uh, various modes so it does follow me it has various functions to track you while riding great tool and let's try it out let's try it out right now <laughs>
you for watching my channel Zero to 100 Adventure and I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, subscribe and share to help a guy grow his channel. And if you want to watch more of my videos, please follow the links to the right. Thank you and hope to see you soon.